Okay, so uh, what we're doing, we're back and just as this loads, we've made a list of the different uh, ingredients that is needed in a hurricane, okay, to form a cyclone or a hurricane. So now what we're going to do is I want you to construct a diagram similar to the ones we have here, okay? The numbers, one, two, three, four, and five, they're the kind of five key ingredients, okay? It includes the four we've all just looked at already. And what I'd like is it, a little diagram like this, okay, and include all the annotations. So I'll run through it one more time. Warm ocean water, more than 80, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, provides energy for the hurricane and causes more evaporation, making humid air. So when you've got these warm oceans, lots of it evaporates rapidly, really, really quick up into the atmosphere. Okay, and that's what causes these big thunder clouds to form. All right, so winds coming together force the air up. So also along the equator between the tropics, you get winds from the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere meeting. So where they meet, okay, they can then force all of this warm air and evaporation straight up really quick. Okay, number three, all right, winds flow outwards above the storm and they allow the air to rise. So they pull up more and more air. All right, four, humid air makes clouds into a storm. And then number five, the light winds steer and allow it to grow. All right, so that's kind of a little bit more detail of what happens. So lots of evaporation from the ocean. Winds pushing that air up, okay? Then it starts to form the big clouds, the thunder clouds, which get together. And then that light winds, the light shear winds, or light wind shear, doesn't matter which way you say it, outside the hurricane, steer it and push it in one direction. Okay, so I want a nice big diagram like this. If you want to put the numbers one, two, three, four, and five on the diagram and then the notes below it to keep it more neat, that's perfectly fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep going though. Two new keywords intensification and dissipation. So, what you need to do here is write down dissipation. What, when a tropical cyclone loses energy and slowly dies out. So, can we write down that sentence? And while you're writing it down, think about what are the things that could cause a tropical cyclone to dissipate okay so think about the ingredients it needs all right first things first it needs to have hot warm oceans so what if we replace the hot water with cold water would that cause the hurricane to die absolutely so one of the things under this you can put number one time spent over cold oceans okay that would cause it to dissipate to lose all its energy can hurricanes form over land no they can't so a second point, number two under this, all right, as hurricanes move over land, they lose all their energy as well. Okay, now there's one more. What's another ingredient it needs which can cause the hurricane to get stronger or weaker? All right, number three, you can put down the shear winds. If the winds are too strong, it blows the storm apart. And if they're not strong enough, the thunderstorms won't get together. So the three things that cause dissipation are movement, moving over cold water, moving over land, or winds that are too weak or too strong, okay, or shear winds. Once you have that done, intensification, write down this sentence. This is when a storm becomes even stronger and more violent than before, so it intensifies. So it's the exact opposite of this. So what do we think could cause intensification then? Okay, first one longer time spent over warm oceans so the longer a hurricane spends over warm oceans the more powerful it becomes okay and there's actually just one more for this then also perfect wind conditions so if they've got really good wind conditions that means then the storm will be able to grow in size and move even faster okay these are important little words for our next lesson so we'll be looking at uh, how storms the impacts of, of storms all right what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to look at, well, sorry, I should put these backwards. Firstly, we're going to just look at one worksheet as well, all right, with, uh, to just look at, again, about the naming of storms. And then secondly, we look back at page 105 of the Social Studies Book 2 about hurricanes. We've already covered this. It's only a short paragraph, but um, we'll, we'll have a glance at that in a moment. First things first, there's a couple of more little notes that I want to uh, touch on. Okay. Uh, I've attached this worksheet um, to your lesson forecast, all right, which was sent out uh, yesterday evening. So naming hurricanes, I'm just looking at this piece here. Now, if you can't see it on my screen, like I said, I've sent you this sheet so you can open it. it uh, it's called Hurricanes, Hurricane Names, all right? 
and we're just looking at this little piece here be, that we haven't covered so you can add one or two little notes from this okay most hurricanes already have or most hurricane areas have local lists of hurricane names all right the first each year begins with a the second begins with b and so on as soon as the hurricane reaches that uh, speed of 100 and roughly about 120 kilometers an hour it is given the next name on the list all right this system was started in 19 or 1890 by clement raj and uh sorry yeah but he was naming after hurricanes after politicians that he disliked um so we don't need to know that bit what i just want to know here is the first two sentences essentially okay most hurricane areas have local lists of hurricane names the first name each year begins with a the second begins with b and so on all right so they just move through a list like that all right um uh, one other thing i do want to add to that as well which isn't in there and should be if so just add this a little bit if a hurricane becomes very powerful okay or ca or causes huge damage that name is retired and not used again okay there will never be a hurricane katrina again they won't ever use the name katrina again so put that down as an example so if a hurricane is especially strong or especially violent or causes a lot of death and damage they retire the name and don't use it again example hurricane katrina the problem is they'll never use katrina again because every if you mention oh hurricane katrina people will automatically think of the last one all right what we'll do is jump over to this. okay so again just the bottom of page 105 and the social studies book two uh, tropical storms and hurricanes okay they're called typhoons in asia which we've already touched on so this will be very very simple but just so we have the textbook covered as well hurricanes or tropical storms once they exceed that wind speed again wind strength okay tropical storms become hurricanes once the wind gets faster fast enough that's very simple what is known as they form where the water is hot over the sea all right only near the equator is it warm enough uh they this can be in the atlantic the caribbean and so on that's the ones that affect us and wherever they form they can still get to the bahamas although most will miss us so even while we're like oh you know we get hit by quite a few hurricanes every year there's a huge amount of hurricanes and none of our tropical storms i should say most don't even become hurricanes first of all they never get strong enough and secondly the vast majority actually miss the islands okay second thing you need after the ocean then is the rising air all right and it starts to spin because of the coriolis effect the center is called the eye, as we know, and one key bit is on the next page. All right, regardless of the weather conditions, all right, they travel eastwards from the Atlantic. So all of the hurricanes, well, pretty much all the hurricanes that hit us, they start in the Atlantic and they head east. They blow eastwards towards us, okay? They never, I should have highlighted this, they never travel south for any great distance. All right, remember, they, move, they tend to move away from the equator. All right, that's us done on our hurricanes introduction. There's no assignment today, and we'll have another lesson on Wednesday. All right.